What is happening, everybody? Junior with Jet Pedals here. And today I want to talk a little bit more about the Red Sea. So last week we announced the Red Sea. So today I want to go about more in depth on the Red Sea and talk about kind of where, how the signal flows in and out of the pedal. And it may give you a better idea of how you could use it in your rig. And you could maybe come up with your own routing options that are not just like the standard wet, dry, wet or the parallel stereo effect splitters. So let's dig in here and take a look and see what we have. So if you look on the screen here, this is, this is a mono input. And this says that the right input goes to all send jacks one through four. So this is send jack one. This is send jack two, three and four. So as your guitar comes in, and goes into the right input, we're calling that mono input because it basically splits your signal four ways. Uh, all of the signals are buffered and they're split and they do not interact with each other at all. So you have the same signal that comes in going out across all four send jacks, one through four. So you have quite a few options, but let's talk about what happens when you return into the Red Sea. So I've kind of color coded everything, the blues, are color coded here. So when you return to jacks one and two, those, the sound or the signal that's re being returned into that jack is leaving out of the right input. So anything coming into one and two return will leave the right input and will not be in the left input at all. And then the same thing goes for return jacks three and four. So return three and four will leave out the left output. And then this is where the blend knob comes in handy. Over here it says the blend knob, uh, it blends between loops one and three. So this is one and three. So whatever's plugged into your bottom loop here, it will get louder when you blend to the left, when you rotate the knob to the left. And then whatever's going into return two and return four, those get louder when you blend to the right. So you have equal amounts of signal in the middle and then you blend between the two left and right. So if this send was leaving to a stereo pedal and this return is the left and the right, you'd get a stereo output. But when you blend, see this is one and three. So when you blend loops one and three, whatever you have plugged into one and three will get louder as you blend over here. And whatever's plugged into loops two and four will get louder as you rotate it clockwise. Okay, so what if we wanna use it in a stereo fashion instead of mono. So maybe you've got um, two separate delay pedals coming into one into the left channel and one into the right channel, and you wanna maintain that stereo image of whatever is coming into the Red Sea to make sure whatever is leaving the Red Sea, you still have a stereo image. So what we have is the, now when you use the stereo input, when you plug into the left jack, it automatically senses that you've plugged into the left jack and now whatever comes in to the left will leave on uh, send three and send four, and whatever's plugged into the right jack here will leave on send one and send two. Again, this is the same method up here. Whatever comes in, the, the returns one and two will leave on the right channel, and whatever comes in on returns two and four will leave on the left channel, and then this is your blend between your two loops. So this will maintain your stereo image. If you go out the right and return the right, it'll leave the right. If you come in the left, return the left, or sorry, in the left, send to the left and return to the left, it remains in the left channel. So you remain your true stereo image as it comes in and out of the pedal. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the polarity switches, what they do and how we can use them. This is something that we did not go into detail during our demo video, but we think it's important to share it here. And so let's switch over to the polarity switch screen we have, and let's talk about this. So at first glance, one would assume that the left polarity switch would invert the left output, and the right polarity switch would invert the right output. However, this won't do us any good in the Red Sea because like we mentioned before, we have two stereo loops. Again, here's stereo loop A stereo loop B. So if stereo loop A was out of phase with stereo loop B, we need a way to be able to flip the polarity 
from uh, one of those loops to get it back in phase. So as you see here, is the left polarity switch inverts whatever signal is plugged into the return three jack. And this is the same thing for the other side. The right polarity switch inverts whatever signal is being plugged into the um, return one jack. So if these two stereo loops are out of phase, you flip both switches up and that would invert the polarity for stereo loop A and now everything's back in phase again. Okay, so let's talk about the most frequent pedals that are probably gonna give you some polarity issues when using the Red C. Typically reverbs and delays will not give you any phasing or polarity issues, but it's highly common that a boost, anything with a gain stage in it, a boost, an overdrive, a distortion, things like that, will, or even amp modelers will definitely have the opportunity to invert your phase from one or the other. So if you're blending between two different effects here, or blending between two different amp modelers, you gotta keep an ear out to make sure uh, when you plug everything in, wire it up and play, are you having a lot of frequency loss? Is it going to be low ends are completely gone or high ends have been removed? You need to look out for that as you start to use the Red C. And a quick fix is to make sure that you're using this stereo loop A for at least one of your loops. If you're running stereo, then you're gonna have both loops. But if you're running uh, like a drive, two drives in parallel and blending between the two, you wanna make sure you have at least one drive in loop A and one drive in loop B so you can invert the polarity between the two loops. So in order to tell when you have polarity issues, just use your ears, okay? If, you're, if you just feel like you're lacking a bunch of bass or lacking a bunch of high end, go ahead and flip both of these switches and see if all those frequencies have been restored. If they are, then you're great, you're good to go, and now you've got everything back on polarity. So I hope this better helps you understand how the polarity switches work. Just remember that the left polarity switch does not invert the polarity of the left output. And same with the right. They do not work together. We are inverting the polarity of return three and return one. Okay, so now that we've put together this quick video, I hope my hope is that it helps you understand what your signal path looks like as it's flowing in and out of the Red Sea. And maybe now you can be able to incorporate this into your rig or come up with your own combinations of how to use the Red Sea and now to blend back and forth between your signals. So until next time, we'll see you guys later.